My name is Jason Grady. I'm the System Manager of Emergency Cardiac Care for Northside Hospital. When a patient goes into cardiac arrest and their heart stops, the mechanical function of their heart is no longer pumping to provide blood flow to the brain and the rest of the body for them to be alive. However, there is still a lot of electricity left over in the heart. The problem is it is not going through the heart in an organized fashion. It's actually having somewhat of a type of seizure. It's just a bunch of electricity randomly shooting all through the muscle. However, it's not allowing it to beat. So defibrillation delivers a large amount of electricity to the heart muscle, completely eliminates all of that electrical activity to allow the heart to actually restart on its own. For defibrillation to work, the heart has to have enough blood and enough oxygen going through it to be able to accept that shock. The way that we do that is with chest compressions. Chest compressions allow just enough coronary blood flow to get through to perfuse the heart muscle so that when the shock is delivered, the heart actually has the ability to generate its own electrical impulse and restart. Without chest compressions, without that blood flow, the defibrillation, uh, the shock delivered is likely not gonna work. 